Down at Limston, I think they'll do very well, actually. Technically, they're fit enough and strong enough to do it all. They've got more endurance than me, I'm sure. I've never really trained endurance. I've more trained explosive power. They're not used to pushing themselves when it really gets cold and wet, so that'll be the stumbling block. He's got a low pain threshold. Anything, anything sets him up. <laughs> For me, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's going to be wicked, man. I really can't wait. It should be a great day. And I was like, yes, yeah, I want to be there. They underestimate how fit we are. Nervousness this morning. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not really. yeah. Stick, Stick is not as smiley as he was. <laughs> 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 so you want me to come take? There may be trouble ahead. <laughs> Do you want a different coloured one? Okay. Hey, don't want a red one. <laughs> Cost a lot. <laughs> How's that feel? Does that feel alright? Yeah, alright. Yeah. Just have a bunch up and down. Yeah. Just to see if it's nice and snug and up. These guys, they're always out looking for a new challenge. Um, with what they're doing with parkour, they're always looking for different jumps and new things to take on. And obviously they've come down here with that same, same frame of mind, as, which is exactly what we have. They've got a good sense of learning, so yeah, they picked up every straight way they were on it, on the ball. Yeah, it was very good. Big shock. It was like, my go. Pissing down with rain, it was freezing, wet, and we were all just laughing about, but it, it was intense. It was intense. Easy, good, well done. Bottom. Um, I think our world is, um, for an outsider, is a little bit strange and kind of look a little bit maybe tough and you wouldn't want to give it a go. To us, going and maybe living in London and doing the tube brush and working from nine till seven or eight just to make a living, that's a hard world. This is nice. Ever since I was a kid, I always looked up to the Royal Marines when I was really, really young. OK, brilliant. OK, if you want to make your way up there then. Well, you hear about the Marines, like, as a kid and how I was thought they were the best. At the cinema, I remember seeing the advert and you remember seeing the, the guy go through the tunnel and I heard I had to do that. And as a kid, I thought I'd never do that in my life. Okay, good effort so far then, fellas. I'm going to do is an introduction to the assault course. They were all successful. They got around, around the assault course in under five minutes, which is absolutely fantastic for a first time run through. Nobody ever does that. Got the wax out of your ears for sure. It's good, it's tough. These guys, just, they've just been absolutely fantastic all day. I mean, everything that we've asked them to do, they've just thrown themselves at it 100%. I was enthusiastic about finding um, the way how, how these guys do it, how these guys do an obstacle co course, what's their technique, because it differs from us. Amazing, these guys are Spartans, these guys are on, an, on another level. Good effort Spartan, that's what I like to see. Everybody passed the assault course under the time allowed, coming straight in from not wearing kit to full weight, 21 pound and a weapon, and cracking it in under the time allowed is amazing. This is your most important bit of kit. So if you haven't got this and you can't look after this, then you're absolutely useless on the battlefield. It feels heavy. It's okay. Yeah, right. Got that back. Now you see why these guys are the best in the world. Brilliant. Okay then Jets, uh, welcome to the Royal Marines Endurance Course. The course itself consists of two and a half miles of undulating ground, uh, bogs, five tunnels, one of which is fully submerged in water. To be honest, we thought they'd come here, thought they put with the weight on, we thought they'd really, really struggle. Um, but they've come here, you know, they've put the weight on and they've, they've done it. You know, I'll take my hat off to them. It was really hard with all the gear on you. So the hardest part for me was, you know, running up, just running uphill. It's raw. You're out there, you're in the woods, getting pushed through dirty tunnels. That's where we're going. That's, that's, where that's the other end. end. That's the other end. No, you can make it as well. Try and wiggle, you're not yeah, going to be able to go. You're in your fanny. The tight spots, the claustrophobic spots, they really, I was a bit, just a bit nervous about them, yes. Keep going, oh, oh, go. let's go. Yeah. It was uh, a totally new world to me, but it's, again, it's about switching your mind off. It's just, 
getting on with it. You know? I knew that as long as I kept my legs moving, I would eventually get there. Yeah. Well done, Easy. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Stop for a cup of tea, constantly. Keep going. Yeah, there are a few times when you know they said, "Come, go through the uh, go through the tunnel, holding your rifle in front." And seriously, because no one's watching, swing it to the back, crawl through just as I got to the end, get that on show. Yeah, I did it all the way here. Yeah. You just got to keep going, look after your weapon, get a good grip of it, and just keep going, keep moving yourself, effort, ignore the pain you're that you're getting on your knees. Effort, just keep going and going and going. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Feels like I've got a fat kid and I'm giving him a piggyback and he's just helping himself to chocolate as I'm carrying him. It's good life running freely on the nice countryside with nice lads. I could get used to it. Someone like me who's constantly sort of pushing themselves and trying to find that, that limit and trying to push it every time I go training, um, this was just way off the mark to anything I've ever done. It's wicked. The coordination that parkour gives them shows they didn't have to repeat any obstacles. They could do everything first time without asking once they got our way of doing it and our specific rules such as the two-footed landings instead of the one-footed which they're used to. You teach them a technique um, and within a minute or two they've got it. Each movement alone, I'm fine with the parkour has given me the ability to do each movement uh, without a problem. Then you add the weight and one after another takes its toll. Guys, good effort. Well done, guys. No hesitation or anything there, really good. <sighs> so dead. Coming here and seeing these guys, they do it for a profession. They, this is how they train, this is what they do. They wake up in the mornings, blah, blah, blah. They all push themselves, work as a unit. It's really inspiring. They do this every day and it's like, I don't think I could ever do that kind of stuff. Okay, well done. Well done. Okay, stand up. You're going to put him back through now. It's all about teamwork and pulling together. I think that's what I've learned from this. Probably the best thing I'll be taking away is this hat. <laughs> um, no, yeah, take away a lot of spirit. The spirit in these guys is phenomenal. It's training, it's never give up. It's driven me to it. I want to train harder when I get back. They will just put their mind to it and they will struggle or whatever and they will do it and they'll achieve that and they'll set another target and they'll be constantly working up. I think when I go back training, that's exactly how I'm going to train. Let's go, well done. It was tough, really tough. But it's something that I feel I've, I've taken a lot away from. I feel really uh, fulfilled. I've had a great time. I feel like I've actually achieved something. It's been an experience. It's been a wonderful experience. If they were passionate in wanting to become a Royal Marine Commando, they'd probably do it, yeah, definitely. I think if you want to join the Marines, you've got to have the right state of mind to just get on with it, get in there and get the job done. This is, has been such a good experience. I've never done anything like this in my life. Today's been absolutely amazing. There's just no other word for it. It's been absolutely amazing. I sat there feeling really feeble in the shower, had my, had my legs crossed like this. I was too cold to stand up, just blasting myself with a smile on my face like a Cheshire cat. What I'll take away from this is the, the focus. The, the other thing is that there's a real unity there and that's something that I would like to replicate in our team. It seems like they'll do anything for each other, which is, uh, is really special. I'm happy with that. <laughs> He's showing off now. Awesome, mate. Brilliant. Good kid. That's what it's all about.